Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Sony Sin 16-35 T3.1. So just a little bit of a side note, Sony did send me this lens to try on a few shoots. So everything that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is gonna be my honest opinion about this lens. And I'm gonna be telling you a few pros and cons of what I kind of experienced with shooting this lens on a few projects. Uh, please excuse me, your honor, but you can't hold me no longer. Okay, so first of all, this is considered a 16 to 35 T3.1. So now the T is measured in transmission for cinema lenses, which is measured for the amount of light entering in the lens. So now a T3.1 is also known as an F2.8. And as you can see on the side of the lens here, you have the A for auto to be at 3.1. But then when, as soon as you switch it down, it goes to a 2.8, which you're able to see in the camera. Okay, so one of the pros about this lens is that it's got a built-in servo zoom rocker right here, which you're able to zoom from a 16 to 35, and you can set the speed from high to low, or you can use the rocker on your FX3 to zoom it as well, instead of the one that's built in into the actual lens. So another feature I like about this lens is that this actual lens hood or matte box can come on and off so it doesn't look as bulky, but this does help, especially if you're shooting in bright daylight and you have some sun entering the lens. It is, it is pretty big. And now to fit this in a camera bag that you have, especially with a small lens, you probably don't have a big enough camera bag to fit this lens in. Um, only because you know you're running around with a small cinema camera like this the FX3 so why would you have an enormous bag um, so therefore the this lens is gonna be pretty bulky in your camera bag it's gonna add weight now if you see this whole setup that I got right here I, I have a small rig rail system with a cheese plate and then I got the actual plate to mount onto the Futec um, so this piece has to be below this otherwise this is gonna be hitting your gimbal um, but right here, this setup right now, it is working perfect and I was able to balance it on the Futec, um, which I'm using the AK4000 and it is able to hold all of this weight all at once. Okay, so one of the pros about this lens, and I feel it's probably the number one on the chart, and which is probably why this lens is so expensive, it has no focus breathing at all. It is very tack sharp. Um, I shot in low light situations, you know, 12,800 ISO, and even in dark situations like that, this lens didn't breathe at all. And if it did, it was very slight. So just a summary on this lens, is it worth $5,500 American? Um, I'm gonna let you guys decide. You let me know what you thought of, of uh, the footage that I just showed you guys. Everything was shot with this lens, either at a 16 mil, 35. Um, most of it I did shoot at f2.8 only because I like that depth of field. I like the blurriness between the subject and the background. Um, so you guys let me know what you guys think of, of this lens um, and I also want to give a big shout out to Sony for them letting me borrow the lens 
Um, unfortunately, I do have to send it back next week. But other than that, stay tuned for the next video.